Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambu from Cloud Tech. Today I will talk about AWS architecture icons. And in this session, I will show you like how we can create a AWS architecture diagram by using AWS integrated some of the tools. And diagram in the sense, like when you are creating any project, right? If you want to show you like how the architecture it will be looks like. So like this, if you want to see like uh, how the flow is going on, what all component basically we are using in that particular project, right? If you would like to draw on by using AWS component, if you want to draw the diagram kind of thing, AWS architecture diagram, then I will show you that. In one of my video in YouTube, I have already demonstrated like uh, AWS architecture overview. And in that I have already created this kind of diagram. And one of my friend requested like how we can create this kind of diagram if we can create some session. So for that only today's session and in my one previous session, I have already demonstrated AWS VPC and in that PowerPoint, I have already created this kind of diagram. Now today we'll translate this VPC, whatever diagram it was created by PPT. Same diagram how we can create by AWS architecture icons. I will show you that guys. So let's in Google. If you just search AWS architecture icons, then it will come on uh, this very first. The, this link will come. So let me show you that otherwise AWS architecture icon. If you. Diagram icons, so this is the first link. It will come here. So once you come here, then go a bit, little bit down and here the many tools already integrated in this AWS, so anyone you can use all are very nice tools. And here looks chart also was there looks chart uh, like uh, one of another tool. It was there, but now they removed. If you want, you can search Google like this. So this is the looks chart by using this one. Also, you can draw this kind of architecture diagram. So now I don't know why Google, uh, AWS is removed that plugin here tools. So another one we have like drawn.io. I was used this look chart also many times and I have used the drawn.io also. So let me today's session since look chart is not available here. So let's go by drawn by IO. OK, guys, so it will come like this and what let me show you that our uh, AWS VPC one what it is looks like. So if you see here right in the VPC like we have like region US East one. Then on top of the region, what we have outer layer, then we have a VPC and on top of the VPC, we have Internet Gateway and we have that subnet, public private subnet. Then we have API app, database server, NAT Gateway, availability zone, DB, this kind of thing, right? So let's draw this kind of uh, architecture diagram by using that AWS architecture uh, diagram, these tools. Okay, guys, so, so first we need the region. So let's take the region. If you search here region, there are multiple options will come. So let's take any one here. So let me little bit drag and drop little bit. That is a very easy and simplest way you can do. So this is not a big deal to handle this one. So and here is the color. If you want to change color or if you want to change the lining dot dot or something else, you can change here. And if you want to make little bit but like a deep, then you can just change this font size also. And if you would like to change the color, color also you can change. And if you want to change the text also, this text also you can change. So let's go here. And if you here text is region, right? If you want to make it bold, you can make it bold. If you want to make it center, you can make center. If you want to make left, right, whatever you want to do, you can do. OK, guys, up and down, whatever you want to do, you can do. OK. So this is the thing you can do here. So let me go. Let's keep default here. Then what we need the VPC. So let me search the VPC here. Here multiple VPC option is there. So let's take this one. And let's draw here VPC. Then on top of that VPC, what we need? We need the Internet Gateway, so AWS. So this is the Internet Gateway, so on top of that we need this one Internet Gateway. On this. So let's make it up a little bit. 
if you want to change color on here also you can make the change okay style color okay guys so let's keep default as of now uh, which one you want to uh, uh, like edit just click on that then it will highlight here and if you want you can edit okay guys suppose the, this internet gateway you want to edit then just highlight here then you just type here it will edit. Uh, it will see this the right side this one or this text side text you want to modify you can do like this okay guys so now internet gateway is done then what we need like sub uh, we need the subnet so let me before that we need the az availability zone inside the availability zone we need the subnet right availability zone so this is the availability zone let's select this one here one make it text so oh. text also and let me take the duplicate one more here like this let me take duplicate here like this we can take duplicate also okay want to change this style also you can change guys so and if you want to add text also you can add text here just click on text type is it and if you want to change the color you can change the color accordingly whatever color you would like okay. the text text color let's keep here is it here You want to change color like this also you can change as per your need you can do uh, similarly we can do here this is also duplicate we can do and well, we can move drag and drop here okay guys is it now what we need show you that so that you guys can understand what we need now so this IG is done, VPC is done, AJ is done. Inside the AJ, we need the two subnet, right? So let's take the subnet. So public subnet. Let's take this one. Uh, let's little bit drag and drop. Okay, uh, then we need the private. Let's take the private subnet here. Okay, guys. So, drawn. And now, let's take the NAT gateway. So these are the NAT image you can take anyone here. Different kind of AWS VPC NAT gateway. So we need the NAT gateway. So what the purpose of use? And if you want to like NAT gateway become big, right? So let me show you that. So we can take like this and we can want you can just you can make it smaller also. So let's come here, NAT gateway. NAT gateway basically need if you want for private subnet to public subnet if you want or over the internet if you want to talk to the internet gateway, then NAT. I have already explained this details about this. So in the VPC session, so if you guys not yet watch or if you want more details, please have a look my VPC session. You will get more idea on that. So this is the NAT gateway. Then let's take that deep. DB servers. This is the DynamoDB you can take. So 
let's copy here. Okay, it will become bigger ones. First copy here, then we'll make it small, and then we'll copy here. So this is our Dynamo DB. And that's what we can take here. And here we can take EC2. So many EC2 instances are available here. So anyone you can take. So let's take this one. This is the EC2. If you want to launch here also EC2, then just to do the duplicate here, then just drag and drop. Okay, guys. Public private subnet, NAT gateway, VPC, and uh, then server. What else we need to take? Let me go to here. There is a private subnet, this all then, and these are the public route table, private route table. This all we can do by using text, right? So let me show you that also. So if you just go here and just take the text, and if you want to do that uh, lining also, if you want to uh, like communicate from one to other, right? So this kind of lining also you can take from like private to public VPC communication, or if you want to change the lining here, there are different kind of lining is there. If you want to change, you can change also. Uh, then here also multiple line option is there. If you want, you can take and here other line option also there. Okay, guys. And if you click here, here also many option is there. Text, link, shape, different kind of shape option is there. What kind of shape you want to apply that also you can apply. Okay, guys. And then on top of that, many things you can do, you can communicate. So this is how we can basically draw on this architecture diagram and whatever you want, you can do by using this one. So I hope this will helpful to you guys and this session will really help you, I, feel, I believe. And if you feel this video is helpful to you guys, then please do like, share and subscribe my channel. That would really inspire to me. We'll see you guys in my next video. Shalom, bye.